Welcome back to ABC 26 This Week. Hurricane Katrina has taught us many humbling lessons. Two years later, an invention. Meredith Mendez shows us. Dwellen Bodwin is proud of her product, happy to show it off for St. Tammany's cable channel. It's an invention that took Hurricane Katrina's negative and turned it into a positive. Had we had cool or uh, cold water, I would have thought it came from heaven. And uh, there was no food, there was no provisions, and as soon as we got the bags of ice to our residents, they were totally warm. As an alternative, Bodwin came up with the idea of a cardboard box and special packs that can be frozen long before hurricane hits. You face it down in water and it swells and uh, you put it in the freezer. It became very clear to me that a cooler is not a lot of good without ice. Manufacturers say these kits are made to store alongside your hurricane supplies and can be readied if a storm hits the Gulf. We decided to give it a try by putting in our own frozen drinks and some refrigerated drinks and then putting the special ice packs on top and sealing it all up. And put it to a road test in our back seat for three days, just like in an evacuation. These containers come to you folded so they don't take up room the packs will last you forever. It's not something that's going to be good this year and next year it's not, and they are reusable. So you have a product that can be used over and over again. So after sitting in the August heat for three days, just like during a normal evacuation, we opened it up to see the results. We took the box out of the car, took off the tape, and then opened it up, taking out the special ice packs to look inside. And the bottles we packed are still cold to the touch, even after three days in the back seat of a hot car. A relief that would have been welcome during Katrina and could one day help other people in similar situations. And joining us now, Dewellen Bojwin, inventor and president and CEO of ProTech Products. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for how having soon might me. This, pardon me. How soon might this be on the market for, for consumers? Uh, it's going to be on the market, I guess, within the next month or so. Right now we're working with state uh, officials and uh, we're doing some added testing that FEMA requested as far as transporting medication, uh, valuable medication. The product uh, was invented out of my suffering and my experience doing uh, and after Katrina, being evacuated to uh, Atlanta, Georgia for nine months, uh, I focused on bringing a product that would be conducive for the next time that we actually do have another event like Hurricane Katrina. And folks, we will have one. So all of the folks that are laid back, here's a product that you can evacuate with or you can have wherever you need with your most precious items such as uh, insulin for uh, diabetics or baby formula or water because uh, being dehydrated, it shuts down all your vital organs in your body. And so this addresses both a necessary need and a health uh, situation for everyone here in uh, Louisiana. And also uh, it's going to bring back jobs to our state. Revitalizing Louisiana was my focus. Uh, I was advised to not come back to Louisiana by my doctors to sell everything I owned and stay away. but. I'm stubborn and I wanted Louisiana to come back better than we ever were before. And so, folks, this is the start of something great because next year we're manufacturing a chest that will keep products cold for seven days without electricity. So Louisiana has a natural a worldwide product that is conducive as well for the military. I wouldn't call you stubborn. I would call you uh, uh, persevering and determined. I am very determined and once I focus on something as an inventor, uh, I don't sleep much because I have to think it through and make it make sense And uh, before I actually create it. You thought of this while you were in between treatment in Georgia yes. after the storm. Yes, I uh, contacted my manufacturer. In fact, uh, I'd like to say a little, a little something something because uh, ironically, my manufacturing representative, Pam Bryce, uh, who you see on the uh, other tape, uh, actually was... Um, came to me in July when Cindy was uh, a hurricane. Right. And uh, she came to me and uh, realized that they were coming to me in a hurricane. And we met and I said, Pam, something's coming at the likes that we've never known in a weather system. So we need to do these containers to have them ready for people when they don't have electricity because uh, 
medicine and food and baby formula was a focus in water. Our bodies are 90% plus of water. So uh, ne ne needless to say, this was July 6th and Hurricane Katrina came August the 29th of the next month. So when I evacuated to Georgia, when my children found out I was actually still alive, I said two things. I'm alive and I can't go back without a product that will address what we went through at Hurricane Katrina. Where do the ice packs come from? You ship those to consumers as well once this is approved? Once it's appro once the product, the product is already a kit and it has been approved because we have all our safety uh, data. So the product has been FDA approved and so we don't have hurdles to cross. We're ready to hit the ground running. So right now we're doing lab testing and uh, we're actually ready to go with our product because Advanced Design is a $90 million company and has three manufacturing sites. So we have no obstacles as far as our product. FEMA asked us in Washington, if they ordered 100,000, how long would our turnaround time be? We said two weeks to three weeks at, mm -hmm. at least. Uh, all our manufacturers that bring this product together, there's a, a coal pack manufacturer because the product that goes in it to keep it cold uh, they're established manufacturers, so we have nobody that is not in business and ready and doing business already. So we're ready to go. We've been advised by uh, FEMA to have it in all the Home Depots, all the Lowe's, all of the um, uh, emergency care centers, and in everyone's house before an event because, folks, I'm here to tell you FEMA has been very direct in saying they come after an event not before because the president has to sign off and declare right. it in, in, a disaster. So you need this before so you can wait until FEMA can get to you. But this is a matter of being proactive. It is being proactive because we are on standby with the weather event as we speak now and it's only going to get worse and if you prepare ahead of time you live to tell the story because healthy people that prepare ahead readiness and preparedness is a thing that we've got to focus and we learned with Katrina that we've got to be self-sufficient and take care of ourselves because if we don't then we're going to be on the downside. FEMA wonders how many people would have lived had this product been available before Hurricane Katrina. Probably hundreds. Hundreds. All and, right. uh, Inventor and President and CEO of ProTech Products, Joelle and Bojwin, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so and much. And good luck with the product. Thank you so much. When we come back on this broadcast, blackmail on blackmail, violent crime, what to do.